Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it seems like it's been a long time since I've been on here, you know, really kicking my heart out for you. And it just hasn't felt right, but you know, today it feels right. So um, I went to the grocery store this morning, just got a few things because I decided to meal prep for um, four or five days. And um, things were simple and easy because today is Saturday and I have to work um, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So. I don't feel like cooking. It's good, isn't it? She's just snacking on some egg salad I made. But I wanted, today I wanted to do something simple and easy. Um, one of the last videos that I put on here was that um, homemade chicken soup that I made. It's just some things that I had on hand. So today I kind of got the hankering for that again, but I wanted to, when I got to the grocery store, they had their rotisserie chickens, and um, I thought that would be a perfect addition to that chicken noodle soup, uh, the chickenless noodle soup. So uh, I bought one of those. They had a good price. Actually, they had a dollar coupon off, so I was like totally thrilled to death about that. Um, and I'm also going to make some um, ham sliders out of the Hawaiian rolls. I bought Swiss cheese, baby Swiss cheese, and some provolone cheese because I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. I want, you know, I want some of both. I want some of both. This is the rotisserie chicken that I bought, and it smells so good. Look, it's like a little lunch box or something. Um, but it's just a little tiny thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm just going to um, put half of it in my stock pot over there. And I'm going to continue to cook it until the chicken starts falling off the bone. I'm going to let it cook probably about 30 or 40 minutes or so. I'm going to pour all these little juices, if there's any little juices in there, in the pot. Oh, there's a few little juice. Look at that little baby bird. Isn't that the cutest little thing? And um, then the other half of it, I'm just going to let Olivia snack on while, you know, I'm making the soup. So let's go ahead and get this cut in half. We'll see if, we'll see how this is going to work out. I might be able to just cut it in here. I got a plate laid out there. Look at that. There's some juice in there. Isn't that the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your life? I'm just going to cut half of it. Oh, so tender. Try to cut half of it. I don't want to end up slicing my fingers off here. There we go. He's got a little string around his leg. Look at those little tiny baby legs. Then, like I said, I'm just going to let Olivia, you know, we can snack the rest of it. She can snack it while. I'm getting um, the soup made. Oh, the dogs smell it already. Yeah, they had it tied up. Get rid of that. My dogs would love to chew on that. That's enough. I'm not gonna make a big pot of it. Um, I'll just make enough to, uh, you know, eat today. Maybe have a little bit left over tomorrow. Well, I'm cooking tomorrow, so I'll have to tell you what I'm cooking, but I'm gonna cook that. I'm gonna boil that. I'm going to leave this other piece for her to snack on. All right, I'm going to put the chicken right in my little pan here. Not much juice in that. Then I'm going to add some water to this. All right, I just juiced my little pan to put water in because I needed quite a bit. So I'm just going to pour that in there. That's probably enough right there. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to add some of my little uh, chicken base to this, the, my chicken powder. Just a little bit. Probably about a good tablespoon. And I'm going to put my lid on this. Put a little bit of pepper in there as well. I should have used, I should have used hot water. I should have started it out with hot water, but I didn't. It'll take long to come up to a boil. I'm gonna put a lid on it. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. I'm gonna let it cook probably um, about 30, 45 minutes until I know the chicken's already done, um, but I want it to just kind of like fall off the bone and be delicious. Now, while that is working its magic over there, I'm gonna go ahead and get some onions and celery. 
and um, a few carrots cut up to go in it for when it's done so I can be nice and ready. Y'all know I love soup. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is, um, well, I haven't posted anything in a while, and I wanted to show you how you could do, like, different variations of, um, you know, soup, any kind of soup. Like, last time I used just, like, spaghetti noodles. Uh, today I bought fettuccine noodles, so they're going to be a little bit thicker. I like changing things up, you know? And I know you do, too. So let's get started chopping these veggies. chicken has cooked um, for about 30 45 minutes and it is absolutely just tender and falling off the bone so I'm going to take it and put it on my plate and I'm just going to start peeling um, the chicken off look at that got all the chicken off the bone now I'm going to go ahead and taste this um, broth here because I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of my seasonings to it. Mm, that is nice and rich. So what we're going to do is add, I'm going to add some chicken stock in there. And I'm just going to bring it up to what, um, you know, as much soup as I want to make. which it looks like I'm probably going to use this whole container. I'm going to add a little bit more of my powdered chicken broth. Or powdered chicken, it's not broth. Throw that in there. Because I like it be, to be concentrated, you know, like a chickeny flavor. So we're going to add our chicken in there. Juice and all. We're going to add some garlic powder. You have to season. You have to season your broth here. You have to season your soup. We're going to add some minced onion. Because you know they, those little boogers pack the flavor in them. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of celery salt. Stir that. Turn it up so it'll start boiling. I'm going to add my veggies in. And I left the leaves on my celery. You guys know I like to do that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start on the um, the sliders here. And I was just informed that my husband's going to make his own, you know, personal sliders. So you get to witness that as well. 
But what you're going to do is um, take your Hawaiian rolls. This is what you're going to need, Hawaiian rolls. And then I bought ham and I um, bought provolone cheese and I bought baby Swiss cheese to go on these. So I've got, this is um, about a half a cup of butter, a stick of butter. And before I get started with that, adding the stuff to that that I need. Well, I can't find what I'm looking for, so I'll just use a spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and into my little um, nine by 13 pan or whatever you use. I'm gonna take just a little bit of butter and put it on the bottom of that, just to keep them from sticking. And just rub it around. Go ahead, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. That's perfect. Or if you have a little bit of, um, you know, non-stick cooking spray, you can just spray your pan. I think I'm out, to be honest with you. All right, and then you're gonna take your rolls. Oh, guys, that soup smells so good. Because by the time we get these done, um, and put in the oven, we're going to add our noodles to our soup, and that quickly it's going to come together. I'm going to take these apart. And I'm just going to take my knife, and I'm just going to cut them in half. And you just take your tops off. You can go ahead and put the bottom in the bottom of the pan over there. I got somebody breathing down my neck over here. Just lay those right in the bottom. Now he's gonna, like I said, he's gonna make a few of his own. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the mayonnaise uh, and Dijon mixture that goes on the bottom of them. Okay, that's about a half a cup of mayonnaise. And then the Dijon mustard, we're going to add just a couple squirts of that. Probably a nice tablespoon. I'm going to add just a little bit more to that. He's in here questioning my game. He about to get kicked out of the kitchen. Let me taste that. Mmm, that's good. Oh my. Now we're just going to spread this on the bottom of these um, rolls here. Not all of it. All right, now he's going to put his together. His two. Right? <laughs> What is that? Is that bologna? No, nope. salami. Oh, he's using salami. And Swiss. And ham and cheese loaf. <laughs> Voila. There. there. That's his combination. They can be Swiss out. Oh. That's what he wanted on his. Um, Whatever. Man, look at all this ham I got. I got a lot of ham. And then I just got the cooked ham and I got it sliced super duper thin. Look at that. You could get it uh, chipped if you wanted to, but I didn't want it chipped. I told her not to chip it. Chipped it. I didn't want it chipped. Tell you what's going on. I'm gonna chip one of his teeth in a minute if he don't get out of here. So you can make him as you know fat or as thin as you like. I like a little meat on mine. Just 
assemble it like so. I made these last year at our family Christmas get together and they were a hit. They were an absolute hit. I made these and I made the roast beef. Um, I think if I would have got a different brand of roast beef, they didn't have, my favorite brand out of the deli is Wilson roast beef and they didn't have that there. And um, I had asked her to cut it like super thin and she didn't, so it was a little tough. I mean, they had a good flavor because I made a barbecue sauce to go on them as well. Um, and they were amazing. Daisy May, she's, she's just checking out what's going on here. One more little piece. I got all this ham. I got to use some of this. I bought provolone and I bought, bought Swiss. I wanted some of each. You know, I probably, I probably should have bought two packs because these would have been perfect too. Um, I'm, I'm putting two pieces of cheese on them. Let's see. Maybe I'll just run that over right like that. These are going to be so good. Daisy, get back. Get back, sister. And then I'll put Swiss on this. I prefer the provolone over the Swiss cheese. But And a bite for me. Of course. All right. He doesn't want any more cheese on that. So I'm going to place my buns right on top. Now we're going to mix together the, um, what's going to go, we're going to brush over the top of it. If I can find my brush. Oh my God, you guys, I'm going to have to show you this. I bought one. Always, always complaining that I don't have one of these. And guess what? I bought myself one. So we're going to use the butter and then we're going to use about use about a teaspoon of onion powder. Now, if you want to, um, I've seen people put poppy seed on them, but I'm, I don't want, I'm not going to do that. But for color, I am going to add a little bit of um, dried parsley because it's going to be absolutely, it's going to be so pretty on top, don't you think? That's a lot of dried parsley. Stir that around. I'm gonna give it a little finger taste. Mmm, yes. And this is perfect. Like, you know, if you're entertaining for Christmas, um, you know, your little Christmas get together, and you don't want to do, because what I usually do is we do our regular intimate family um, Christmas dinner, and then we do, I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it out. And then we do our, you know, extended family get together. And what we usually do is like soups and last year we done soups and um, these and then everybody brought like a little side something side to eat like my niece she makes the best um, spinach and artichoke dip I'm telling you what it is absolutely amazing I'll have to I'll have to make her give you that recipe so now you're just gonna take this and you're just gonna brush it right over top I'm so happy I got all these brushes. I feel like a real cook now, you know? For so long I didn't have one. I had one, I don't know what happened to it. Right over top, and you know what? I think I might add just a little bit more. Um, oh gosh, slather that in there. Beautiful. Now what we're gonna do, is we're going to cover this with oil. And these are going to go in a preheated oven, 350 degrees, 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to take 
the foil off of them and bake them an additional 10 minutes. And once I get these in the oven, we're going to go ahead and get our noodles into our chicken um, soup over there. Let's go ahead and add our noodles into the chicken stock or the chicken broth or the chicken soup, whatever you want to call it. Now remember, this is going to be a soup, so you don't want to add too many noodles because if you add too many noodles, it becomes a pasta and not a soup. So, you know, I'm going to I'm going to just do a little bit at a time because um, I want my noodles a little bit smaller than I made them last time. I want it more like, um, you know, a chicken noodle soup. So that's, look at this. This is about the size. I think it's good, don't you? So we're just going to go ahead and throw those in there. Break them up. And I thought the um, fettuccine would be perfect because, like I said, it is a little bit of a thicker noodle. Look at those guys. Look at those sliders. Don't they look amazing? Can you hear that sizzle? All right, guys, look at that. Look at my soup. He's somebody over there is getting ready to get it. They've already been in here and been in it, so you see what's left. But it is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Look at that soup. Mmm. Smells so good. And I like the thickness of that noodle, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Mmm. Looks so good. Carrots are just perfectly tender. Look at that. And the piece of the um, chicken just dancing around. All right. Of course, they've been in the sliders as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get me one out. I'm going to show you how... Um, delicious and I don't know if you can see down in there I'm just gonna cut mine remember I done provolone on one side and I done um, baby Swiss on another side I am so, guys I am so ready to eat look at that look at that cheese falling off there look how delicious that looks one for me I'm a big girl. Let's have two. One more little look. Look at that. So good. Okay, we definitely need to wrap this up because my battery is dying. That's what happens when you, you know, have to fool with somebody. I'm just kidding. Look at that soup. How delicious. Seriously, my battery's dying. Mmm. So good. Chicken is so tender. Now, shake my slider. Look at that. Mm. Amazing. Mm. So good. Let me tell you something. I gotta hurry up. You know I love you so very much. I hope you try this. Mmm. Sorry I've been gone so long. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Take care.